Last Sunday, we heard the story of Jesus welcoming a child above all others, breaking yet another cultural boundary in response to the followers arguing about who was the greatest among them. Today, we continue on from there with Jesus teaching his disciples about a new way to include inclusion, or to understand inclusion. Once again, breaking the cultural norm of this, of this time. In first century Mediterranean culture, your group was everything, and allegiance to the group leader was unquestioned. In this passage, the disciples are upset because someone outside of their group has embraced Jesus' mission and is doing the same work. Jesus' response reflects a universal inclusion with no religious, political, or social boundaries where love is concerned. Reading Mark 9, 38 to 42. Jesus was teaching his disciples when John asked him, Teacher, we saw what someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop others, for no one who does a deed of love in my name will be able soon after to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. For I truly tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. Our second reading is from Jan Phillips' book, There Are Burning Bushes Everywhere. It reflects the yearning of many of us who desire to live in a world where love truly reigns. A few words have been changed to reflect our Canadian context. Reading I Am Waiting by Jan Phillips. I am waiting for the redwoods to pick up their roots and leave the forest. I am waiting for the elders to jump from their wheelchairs and cha-cha down the long, lonely, lonely hallway. I am waiting for every ninth grader in Canada to board a school bus to Ottawa, camp out for a week on the floors of the legislature, and talk some sense into elected leaders. <laughs> I am waiting for the thunder to shake us from our sleep, for the tropical winds to melt the frozen parts inside us and warm us to the lovely sight of the one walking toward us. I'm waiting for a new dawn to wake up to where people in, in Damascus are writing books, women in Tehran are teaching the tango, and women in Gaza City and Jerusalem are dismantling walls brick by brick. I'm waiting for the end of commercialism, consumerism, capitalism. I'm waiting for the future to enter into me, the past to drain out of me, for evolution to rip through me like a tornado sucking into its funnel every judging tendency, every old notion that's had its day and is due to retire. I'm waiting for fundamentalism to die so freedom can live, for churches and temples and mosques to be places of laughter, where the hungry are fed and the sick are healed and the elders are cared for. I'm waiting for the children to teach us the trees to save us, oceans to sail us into truer horizons where we can see, in spite of this darkness, a love fire rages deep in the human heart. May these words open us to Spirit's presence. Amen. And may wisdom come to us this day. Amen.